Now, before we dive in, if you find my videos useful, make sure to click that subscribe button and also make sure to click that bell icon on the side to get notified every time I upload a new video. And of course, if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, make sure to follow me on all at Saki Tech Online, also for the latest updates. All right, let's dive in. Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video, I want to talk about a crucial feature that you need to enable on your Samsung smartphone right away. So let's dive in and talk about that. So let's go to the settings. I'm going to show you the option that I'm talking about. And some of you guys may know what I'm talking about already. And of course, for those of you guys, you are geniuses, but this video is for people that do not know about this tactic. So go into the settings and then go into biometrics and security. And then right on the middle of the phone, you're going to see an option known as Find My Mobile. So when you tap on Find My Mobile, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and enable it. Now, when you go in for the first time, make sure you do have a Samsung account. So, so once you create the Samsung account, you're going to be able to access this setting. So basically what happened to me a couple years ago was I lost my smartphone and it's a very expensive smartphone. So I was able to track its whereabouts using my computer using the Find My Mobile tactic. So as you can see, I've activated the Find My Mobile using my Samsung account right over here. And once you enable this, what you do is you go to findmymobile.samsung.com and over there, I'm gonna show you in a second, you have a full tool set to track and remotely control your smartphone. So before we do that though, make sure that you have all these three options over here enabled. So these are the remote controls that you enable. So when you do go to the website and you log in with your Samsung account, you're able to remotely control this smartphone. And then over here, you have the Google location services. And basically, if this is enabled, you're gonna get laser precise tracking location. So, so make sure these options are in fact enabled. And of course, uh, make sure you enable the send last location. So let's say you do lose your phone and the battery of the phone dies as it is uh, lost somewhere, or maybe somebody stole it or whatever. Uh, at least right before the battery dies, your phone will send its last known location to the Find My Mobile account. So that's a great option to have. Now, one more option that you want to enable here is known as a remote unlock option. So basically, uh, with remote unlock, you can remotely unlock your smartphone. Now, I don't see a reason for doing that, but if you want to do it, uh, as soon as you enable this, the only concern here is your PIN number is going to be backed up to your Samsung account. So when you try to remotely unlock the smartphone, it is going to use that pin number that is stored on Samsung servers securely to log into your smartphone. Okay, so some people might be okay with this. Some people don't care. I don't really care. So I'm gonna just gonna click agree and it's gonna enable that. Now it does want my current pin number. So I'm just gonna cancel it for now. So enable Find My Mobile. And now let me move on to my computer and show you the interface in which you can track your smartphone to a laser precise location. All right, so here we are on findmymobile.samsung.com right over here. And what you wanna do is you wanna click on sign in and you're gonna use the same sign in that you use to log into your Samsung smartphone. So click on this. I'm gonna dump in my credentials right over here. And here's the user interface, okay? So right now it is checking the status of the device. It's locating your phone. I'm gonna blur out, blur out the map so you don't see all the details of exactly where I live. But here's a list of all my devices. So if you have one or two smartphones, Samsung smartphones, you'll see them listed right over here. And we're gonna be dealing with the one uh, that I'm looking for today. And that is gonna be the Galaxy S10 Plus. So let me click on that. So it is going to check the status of that smartphone, locate the phone, and it's gonna show me exactly where it is at on the map. And then from there, I can go and I can track my smartphone. If somebody stole it, I can go grab it, maybe with a bunch of cops or if I just lost it, I can go and retrieve it from the location where I lost it. Now, the big thing over here is right over here. So over here, it says the network status of your S10. So it is saying it's connected to the uh, Wi-Fi network, which is my home network because the phone is here. It says the remote controls are turned on. It also tells you the current location updated. So it was updated on July 24th at, at 4.53 p.m. And here's a control panel. So I can make the phone ring by clicking this button. So, so that's a nice way to actually find where your phone is. If you're actively looking for it, maybe it fell behind a table or something or whatever. So you make it click, you click it, and it's gonna actually uh, ring the phone for one minute. Actually, I'm not gonna do that because 
it's gonna ring the phone for one minute at maximum volume. So we're not gonna do that right now. Or I can lock my phone, I can track the location as you just saw, and I can also erase all the data on the phone. I may have something sensitive on the phone, so if somebody did steal the phone, I don't want them to get access to it. So you can just erase the phone. And when I do recommend, what I do recommend is if you haven't already backed up your phone, you can first back up your phone and then erase your phone. So when you buy a new phone or if you end, if you end up finding your phone, you can actually restore the backed up data to the lost phone that you found. And another great thing over here is we have the retrieve my calls and messages. So if you know that you've just lost the phone, you're not gonna be able to get, get a find it or whatever, you can retrieve calls and messages right from here. You can unlock the phone, which I don't recommend. You can extend the battery life of the phone, which I do recommend because if you click this, it's gonna go into a power savings mode that is going to extend the battery life of the phone. So it gives you more time to track it if it's just lost. And of course, then you have the set guardians option. You do not need that. But here's a little control panel. Ring, lock, track location, erase data, backup, retrieve calls and messages, unlock and extend battery life. So that's absolutely fantastic. Let's go back to the actual phone. Now, by the way, you can always click this button here to refresh uh, the phone's last known location, okay? In case it's moving. All right, so that's what I want to talk in this video. So make sure, go to the settings, all right? go into biometrics and security, go to find my mobile and make sure this crucial feature is in fact enabled. Like I said, I lost my phone last year and I was able to easily track its location before the battery died and find it instead of going to the store and buying one for a thousand dollars or paying my insurance a couple hundred bucks uh, to get it replaced, all right? So this is the way that you never lose your smartphone. All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.